What's up guys, Supercut so Zombie back again with another video and in this one tonight I want to be unboxing the Walking Dead The Complete Ape Season on Blu-ray for you guys so here it is, the Ape Season of The Walking Dead it's, uh, we've come a long way since season 1 back in 2011 I believe <laughs> um, 8 years going and with season 9 coming out in 2 weeks yeah, it's The Walking Dead doesn't really have an end sight no matter people are thinking right now um but yeah this is a uh, season eight this is the front so you get the walking dead in your nice white they've changed up a little bit from being that old light you're getting like more dirtier each go but it's gone for clear white this time with you know a bit in there stuff like that the complete ape season uh you got on the front cover i love the front cover for this one um absolutely love it for some reason, they um they uh changed it for about season one up to season one to six. It was um basically uh, it was Rick on Rick this guy on on the front cover, either walking towards like walking towards us or running like for season two. It was like running into the farm. It was like him with the setting of that season in the background, and then with season five, it'd be him right at the front walking down a road or. Season six, it'd be him walking through the streets of Alexandria with zombies everywhere. But yeah, they um changed it with season seven where it was just Rick and Negan on the front, and now they've gone to this where it's Rick, Michelle, and Dow, the three main characters of the show. Um, main main character, and then the two like biggest characters, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, this is the front for the All Out War season eight is the All Out War storyline. Um, I'll get into that in a second. In here includes 100th episode plus over four hours of bonus content, so that's cool. Uh, season 8 episode 1 was the 100th episode of The Walking Dead, so it was quite a big episode. There was a lot of uh, gunfire. I liked the 100th episode, it was quite a a nice premiere. It wasn't the best premiere, but it was a good one, where we actually got to see a lot of fighting, what uh, season 7 was leading up to. Like, through season 7, it was a uh, all down in gloom, you know, being tortured, being beaten down, and then to finally get the first episode back where... Our, our heroes take the fight to the bad guys, so that was cool. As seen on Fox, six this set is eighteen. So then on the back, again different from the back. It used to be uh, in seasons one to six again. It'd be like Rick on the front, like I said, and then um, you have your description across the top, or yeah, across the top or on the bottom, and then you get like. Most of the cast on the back, like there'll be a picture for season four, for example, the prison, and you'd have Rick again with Daryl, Maggie, Glenn, Beth, Herschel, the governor at the back, Sasha, Tyrese, all of the side characters from A, B, C list characters. And season five is one of my favorite where they're on top of the train cart. You got like the old characters going all the way through to the new ones, which is really cool. Um, I'll show you that one time. But anyway, different again, season like the season seven one. Here it's Rick and Negan. Season 7 it was Rick Collum shown. Uh, Rick Grimes and his group of survivors. Yeah. No, uh, basically it's just telling you the... Um, it's a synopsis for uh, the season. If you guys want to read it, you can pause it here. See? All at war. It was an action-packed season. Um, it was uh, It was a bit... It was a bit mixed. Uh, it's definitely because in the comic books, the all that war storyline was quite big and explosive. And the, the show's now, I would say, is very drastically different from the comic books. And it's a lot harder trying to get things from books and comics into show and film. So, especially it's a TV show. So they, had a, they have a budget, 16 episodes to do it in. Unless they want to push it two seasons, but you don't want to really do that. Um, but yeah, they did what they could. I'd say the second half of the season is a lot better than the first half. Um, the second, the first half seems all a bit all over the place. A few good episodes in there, like episode eight. That was quite a sad one. Um, seven, one. Uh, yeah, there's, there's quite a few good ones in there. Then the second half was quite strong, especially the last four episodes of season eight. Um, Whereas the episodes with Rick and Morgan... Um, the finale was quite good where they finally get the, the conclusion of All Out War um, the attack on the hilltop the one where Rick attacks or goes after Negan and there's a one on one that was really good so I like that so that was cool 
um, feud down here. Pictures of the main, just a couple of the main characters: Maggie, Carl, Ezekiel, Daryl. Um, bonus features: there'll be two hours of featurettes inside the Walking Dead. They're making another Walking Dead, leaving a legacy in memoriam, which is quite sad to go through, but also kind of cool. And the price of war. So that that's really cool to go for the with the Walking Dead is really cool to go for the bonus features, see the, uh, the deleted scenes, how it's made, the sets to go into. It's quite impressive. It really intrigues me. And then extended episodes, which we get the Blu-ray and they include on Blu-rays all the f bombs and stuff. Like specifically in episode one, when Rick is counting down and he says like f it. Um, in the show, he he says screw it on live TV, but now he drops the f bomb in there. So yeah. Obviously, 18 there. Then on the side, all oh, the complete ape seasons. Let's open this up. I have to go black again. Sorry about that. Um, for some reason, I don't get as seasons are as more seasons there are going along and they're, they're including bigger boxes. Seasons one, two, four, and five were quite slim, normal DVD cases. For some reason, they're, uh, they're going quite big. With their boxes. This is the biggest one so far. Um, Alright. I just want to point out. The American one. Uh, different covers for everyone. Amazon. The UK one. There's this. And then there's this steel book. The UK. I don't like the steel books. The Walking Dead. That's one thing. I would usually say. Because I love steel books. For the UK steel books, not a big fan of it. It's like a silver front with a main character that's heavily focused in that uh, season. Uh, for season six, it was Glenn. Season eight is Ezekiel. Don't know why they picked Ezekiel. Season seven was Negan. Season one was Rick. Season two was Daryl. Um, season five was Carol. And it's just like a, a like an orange or a red blue at the bottom of zombie hands coming out the silver. And then the Walking Dead and the character painted on. Don't like them. The, the, the American steelbooks are really cool. Especially the season 8 one. It's got Carl all over the back. He's got Rick and Negan fighting on the front. The season 7 one, Rise Up. Really want that one. Season 6 is uh, apparently, uh, I'd say, is one of the best American steelbooks. Um, it's got the New World art on the front. But yeah, um, the standard American Blu-ray box set, it's just... It's the All Out War official poster where it's like you got most of the characters there, and then you got like four characters there, two there, then you got Rick and Negan at the top fighting. He's got like Rosita, Maggie, Daryl along here. Yeah, like in a comic style, which I really liked. I would have liked that. Um, that would have been cool, or this one, but I'm happy with this one, so I ain't complaining. And then on the back of it, on the American one, it's Carl walking through the woods with the description. I didn't like that one. I like this. But, yeah, so let's get into it. These boxes are always a pain in the ass to close, by the way. And again, the disc comes loose. <laughs> okay. So, that's disc two. So, what's really cool with the Amazon one package, we got a really cool exclusive item here. We'll get to that in a second. So here we got for this one, we got Rick on the front. This two, we've got Carl. This three, Negan. This four, Daryl. This five, Carol. And this six, Eugene. So there, the six discs. Nothing too interesting there, except the cool character portraits in the front. I would have uh, expected like a promo for season nine, like a little leaflet, um, but it was in every other season box set, but I guess not for this. But so I want to get into, I ordered the Amazon edition, so I got the exclusive postcards. Let me just uh, shall I open this up? Um, no. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna leave them like that. Leave them in the pack. 
it's I don't, I don't want to take them out because they're, they're properly sealed if it was a bit of tape i would but no it's proper proper sealed over so now i'm just going to leave it for a moment but it's basically uh all the leaders um from the communities you got rick and alexandria then there's a picture of maggie at hilltop king ezekiel at the kingdom tara at oceanside and then it's um negan at sanctuary and then it's um jadis or Anne at the uh, garbage community there's a picture on amazon um which you could get a look at but hopefully you guys understand i don't want to take these out because they're quite nice unless i uh decide to put them up on the wall somewhere and then i'll shoot and then i'll probably do a video on that just like a like a minute or two video just showing you this the the, uh, the, the art cards but as of now no i'm not going to take them out because again they're sealed and i don't want to do it <laughs> So, uh, yeah, let's just put that back together. So, yeah, that's, um... Oh, my God, these boxes. That's what I hate about the boxes of this. There. Take forever to get put together. So, yeah, that's, um... The Walking Dead Season 8 on Blu-ray. Um, not the best season, but definitely not the worst. Um, I'd say my favourite season is probably season... It would go Season 6. Personally, for me, Season 6... Five, three, four, eight, two, one, seven. That's what I do. That'd be my uh, count on how I how I would um. But um, I, I might do a video on like what seasons I'd rank me and explaining why. Um, and then uh, maybe do like a top 10 episode of all time, Walking Dead episodes, maybe. But um, season nine is in uh, two weeks. And to be honest, this, in my opinion, and uh, from what the the new showrunners said, because they got new showrunners, not Scott Gimp anymore, it's Angela Kang. Uh, all the new, they got like tons of new cast members, new locations, new stories, new villains coming in. Season nine has potential to be one of the better seasons or, or and if they do it well enough one of the best seasons because what season seven and eight has quite lacked is quite it's character development or not character development where they stop and we actually get some really cool character moments it's been quite action 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 torture torture kind of that stuff so um yeah, so season nine uh, it has potential for the reviews of the first three episodes. Uh, there are people saying there's some of the three of the best episodes that they've got in The Walking Dead so far. So, And plus next season is the finally, uh, it's the leave of our main character, Rick Grimes, which is big. I mean, you know, he's been carrying the show since season one. He's been in nearly every episode, most episodes. But um, even I'll admit, as the show hit, hit season seven, He's kind of it's kind of expanded into more, not more than just Rick's show, more of a everybody's show because there was like it went for about four episodes where he wasn't in a, in in an episode. So I mean, yes, it'll be hard not seeing Rick around anymore. We don't know if he's gonna die or live or leave or whatever. It's gonna be hard not seeing him around. Um, but after his exit, it's gonna be one of the most. It's gonna be so unpredictable because he's still around in the comic books. So unpredictable. Storylines are going to change. Characters are going to get new new things. And um, I'm really looking forward to post-Rick Grimes, surprisingly. And Maggie's supposed to be leaving this season, but she's meant to be coming back for season 10, which is really cool. So in a way, they've kind of confirmed season 10, but not officially. It's it's weird. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to premiere of season 9. Um, you know, considering it's like two years later, after the war. Uh, it's just I I can't. It's such a good fan to be uh, time to be a fan of The Walking Dead, um, especially because I know a lot of people dropped off in season seven, season eight. But for those who stuck around, it's um, definitely going to pay off. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Sorry for my rambling. <laughs> um, oh, let's see. I should have a video out. God, Wednesday. I would say yeah, most likely Wednesday. Um, unless I just. Sip Surprisingly, throw one up tomorrow. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, so expect one Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. 
uh, please uh, share the video, like it, and uh, see you in the next one. Peace out. Cheers. Bye.